This time, the set of charges takes a different tack. The woman is accusing the uh, suspect of molesting her when she was 14. Curtis Allen is a former deacon at Bethel Temple Church of Christ in Park Heights. Police knocked on his door this morning and took him to jail. He's been taken down to Central Booking where he's being held on a no bail status. Two weeks ago, Allen was charged with having sex with a 13-year-old boy. Now a woman says Allen molested her when she was 14. She's uh, 33 at this time now. Uh, she stated that she had uh, inappropriate uh, relationships and contact with uh, Mr. Allen um, while he was a pastor at the church. According to charging documents, Allen performed oral sex on the girl and on another occasion grabbed her arm stating, I'll tell you when you can leave, we are going to have sex. She ran. The new charges include sex offense, perverted practice, assault, and reckless endangerment. I think it's terrible. People familiar with the church and adjacent daycare center are stunned. The pastor wrote a letter and sent it out to all the daycare parents to let us know, or reassured us that the deacon had no affiliation with the daycare center at all. Church, I don't know what to say. That's, that's pretty bad. It's ridiculous. You know, they should investigate these people, you know. They shouldn't be around children anyway. Very dangerous police continue their investigation. We're still looking for other victims. We're still asking people to come forward. The prospect of more victims causes concern. Well, of course it does. Of course it does. We don't look for that to happen, you know, especially in churches. Now, both of the people who came forth with these allegations were members of the church, but police are careful to point out that none of the alleged attacks took place in the church. They either happened at Allen's home or in the home of the victims. Reporting live from outside city police headquarters in downtown Baltimore, I'm Pat Warren. Now back to you on Television Hill. Okay, Pat, thank you very much. Police say Curtis Allen was suspended from the church a week before his first arrest in May.